Number 90. Using the periodic table, identify the heaviest member of each of the following groups. And then they give me four different groups on the periodic table, so I'm just going to write that over here. A, B, C, and D. Now we did a very similar problem in number 89, so if you want more practice and if you want a more in-depth explanation, go back to that one. This one will be kind of like the quick, quick version, all right? So two things we need to know. We need to understand what they mean by we want to identify the heaviest member, and we need to also know where these groups are on the periodic table. If you're the heaviest ele element in a group, you will have the largest mass. And remember, as you go down a group, right, as you go down a group on the periodic table, what happens to the, the size of the atom? The size will always increase, so you'll get larger and larger and larger. So that means that elements at the bottom will have the largest mass. Elements at the top will be the smallest mass, right, or the, the, the lightest member of the group, which was what number 89 was. Okay. So now let's see, where are these groups? The first one is asking for alkali metals. This is the trick. There's a trick here. A lot of students would think that the alkali metal is just group one. And when they say that, they include all of these elements. But there's a catch. They're correct, right? That group one is the alkali metals. However, what type of element is hydrogen? Hydrogen is a nonmetal. So can hydrogen be classified as an alkali metal? Mm -mm. So actually, get rid of hydrogen. Hydrogen is not part of the alkali metals, but the rest of the group is. So it's from lithium all the way down to francium. So from lithium to francium, all of those. That is your alkali metals. Now, who is the heaviest? Well, it's the one that's going to be all the way at the bottom. So it's going to be number 87, francium. That's the answer for A. Francium has the, the largest mass. I mean, it's 223. That's crazy. So FR, francium. That's the answer for A. Next, we have calcogens. Another way of saying calcogens is just the oxygen group. So you can say this group by the first element in the group. So it's basically everybody below oxygen. So it's oxygen and below. So it'd be basically group number 16. So all of these. Now, I'm not going to say that it's this element. As you can see, this element is white as opposed to colored. This represents that uh, IUPAC, which is like the... the uh, they make the rules for a lot of stuff in chemistry. Um, they haven't had enough data to classify this element as either a metal, a nonmetal, et cetera, et cetera. So this group right over here is the calcogens. Okay. So which one would be the heaviest? Well, it would actually be polonium. It wouldn't be this one because this one is not considered in that group yet. So actually, this would be polonium. P-O, polonium. Okay, so that answers this one. C, we have the noble gases. Where are the noble gases? The noble gases are group 18. It's the last group. And once again, I'm not going to include OG over here because it still needs further testing from IUPAC. So I'm going to put over here that this, group 18, is your noble gas group. Also, it's called inert gas group, because um, they don't really react with a lot of stuff. Who is the heaviest member of the noble gases? It would be number 86, radon. So R-N, radon. That ends that one. And then last but not least, where is the alkaline earth metals? The alkali earth metals are actually group two, and all of them are part of the alkaline earth metal. So it's from beryllium all the way down to radium. Who would be the heaviest out of these? It would be number 88, radium. So that would be R-A. 
there's a lot of R elements. I sometimes get them confused, but RA is radium. And that's it. Check that one off. All right. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. If it did, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out greatly. Thank you so much for doing that. We appreciate all you guys. Thanks for the support. Um, yeah, have a great day today. I'll see you guys in number 91. Bye-bye.